Hi, good morning. Gosh, I hope you can see good. My my oh my brightness is down. Oh my gosh, I was like, wow, this seems really dark, but no, it's good. It is good, and I am here, and we are live, and we are just gonna talk a little bit with my finger in the trying to put the um do not disturb on. We're gonna talk a little bit about eyebrows today because I usually just kind of skim through eyebrows when I do my quick hack tutorials um, or they're already done. Um, so I just thought I would I would kind of take my time. I did my the rest of my face and today was a great day. Today was the day I changed my highlight color. So, oh gosh, I'm dropping stuff. Hold, hold on. <laughs> okay, so. I was tan this summer and I love being tan and I don't like purposely tan, but I spend a lot of time at the pool with my boys. Let me move this a little bit. And um, so that was, come on, phone, stay. There we go. Um, so I got tan naturally and it was so much fun. And um, now that I'm inside and it's rainy and snowy and cold and windy and the leaves are falling off, um, I have very little desire to be out there. If you know me at all, you won't be surprised at that. So, my skin has lost a lot of its pigment. Um, so I've shaded down from wheat to amber and quite frankly, I like it. I forgot to put blush on today, which I just realized. That's all right, we'll go without. Or I could put it on with my finger maybe. While we do this little talk, let's see, I'll go with bear in case I mess it up. Eh, let's make it a little pinker. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about eyebrows. So, the thing about eyebrows is they frame your whole face. Oh, it looks much better with blush. Um, so, we want to make sure that one we have them and if we don't that we're pretending that we do and mascara is a great product to do that because it's a cream so it's going to look very natural and you can go over it with a shadow to set it um, which will make it last um, now if you wipe your face of course like the rest of your cream it it will come off um, it's not one of those like Wear all day, have to, I mean, wear all day, yes, but not like have to remove a special remover. It will come off with a makeup wipe. So, um, I will go over a couple eyebrow basics. Let me just get down to it. When you decide where your eyebrows are going to go, you're going to go from the edge of your nose to the inside of your eye. You can use a pencil if you want, but it's good to use a brush. And you're going to put a dot right there. And see how much eyebrow I don't have right there? And same on this side. You're going to go up to the corner of your eye and you're going to put a dot <clears throat> right there. So that that's right here and about right here for me. Yep. And then from there you want to figure out where your arch is. So you're going to look straight ahead. You're going to go from the edge of your nose to the middle of your eyeball. And that's where you're going to put your dot for your arch on both sides. So from the edge of your nose to the middle of your eyeball looking straight, that's where your arch should be. And then for the very last part, you're going to go from the edge of your nose to the corner of your eye, and that's where your tail of your eyebrow should end. Now, if you go to a waxing place, they will do that for you. At least they should. If they don't figure that out, you may be in the wrong place. Let me just say that. One of the things that you can do before you go get your eyebrows waxed they're going to wipe any makeup off of your eyebrows to make it easier for the wax to adhere. However, if you go in with your eyebrows drawn where you want them, so you know, you can do it nice and dark, whatever you want to do. Um, when my clients come in, I do like it when they have their eyebrows done so I can see how they like to wear them. If they come in and ask for them to be specifically shaped, then I will change the shape a little bit for them. But if you go in with them drawn on, then your waxer will know how you like them and they can say hey you know you don't have your tail drawn long enough can we do that so hopefully you have a good um, professional that will do that for you but 
if you don't get your eyebrows waxed and you're just filling them in, I don't know if you can tell, I need my eyebrows waxed. So I have little hairs all the way down here and I need to wax my eyebrows. But when you fill in your the rest of your eyebrow, it makes those things very not noticeable um, to people unless they're super close up. And people that are usually super close up don't really care that much because they're our husband and our best friend. So um, just... You know, if you need them waxed really bad, do that. If you just have little ones, just, you know, just go with it. So, first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how I do them. So, this is my cream. I'm using shadow. It's a nice, dark, ashy color. If you have really dark eyebrows, you could use cola. Um, if you have really light hair, Astoria is great. Um, even ash is great as an eyebrow color. So, I, you know, so I put my cream on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from my nose to the corner of my eye. And I'm going to put a dot right there. And that's just going to give me a guide for when we're doing this. And another guide right there. Okay. So one thing I see when we get our um, brows microbladed is I'm always very confused because I often feel like they're bringing these eyebrows in really like to right here to where the inside of the nose is. And I wouldn't recommend, it's hard to say because if you enjoy your eyebrows like that, you should wear them like that. But if you're doing them yourself, I would suggest going from the outside of your nose corner here to the inside of your eyeball and not right here where the bridge of your nose is. You may end up looking angry. It's so hard to talk about beauty stuff and not you know, say anything that could be offensive because really there are no rules in makeup. Okay, so now I'm going from the edge of my nose to where my arch should be. Okay. Okay. So that is pretty much right on. And this one I put a little high, but it is right where the arch should be. So once you wax your eyebrows enough, you're going to end up with that shape pretty naturally. You'll be all good. And then here, we're good here. And pretty good over here. So I'm just gonna follow that line. So I'm gonna re-dip my brush. Now, think of your eyebrows as a, oh, I was gonna, <laughs> I should probably put this in my makeup group since that's where I told him I was gonna do this and then I went in the wrong place. Give me one second for my computer to catch up here. Catch up, catch up. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. Don't look good right now. You like those dots on my eyebrows? Okay, let's try this again. Share. If you're not in my makeup group and you would like to be, because that's where um, people can ask questions and share their new makeup, share any tips that they have, you are welcome to. Hey Molly, I look ridiculous, do I not? Do you like my eyebrows things? I was going through where to start, <laughs> where to put all your things, and then I paused so I could share it in my group. And so now I just look amazing on here. Thanks. I'm glad you like my hair. I also have been loving it. I was I cut it myself once and then I found somebody who I could go to to get it cut again that would trade me even though I don't have a spot I had to go to her spot it was nice okay let's hope this this works okay continuing on <laughs> okay so now I've redipped my brush and um, and what I was gonna say was that eyebrows are Con a contour for your face essentially that's what all of makeup is it is contouring the face and I'm sure that you know all of this Molly so this is for all my people that don't know and always want to know so um, you want your eyebrows to be the darkest on the outside and what that's gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna deepen out here and draw people's eye inward so you want the lightest part of your face I'm not gonna use that because I'm gonna mark myself Bye, Molly. Thanks for checking in. So nice to see you on here. Okay, so you want the lightest part of your face to be this triangle between your eyes and your mouth because 
That's where we want people to look when we're talking to them. Um, and so by making this the darkest part of your brow, you are um, essentially, you're, you're, you're shading this back. So this part's gonna get pulled back and this is gonna come forward. So if you make this really dark, what that's gonna do is it's gonna deepen all of this around your eyes up here. And we actually want that to be a little bit lighter and we want it to be deeper out here. So it doesn't mean you don't want eyebrows here. It just means you want those to be where you put the lightest amount of product. So we're gonna go darker out here on the outside. And whether that means a darker color is debatable um, or just more product. So um, <clears throat> if you missed the beginning of this, feel free to watch the replay where I talked about um, where to mark for your eyebrows to start and end. So um, the inside of your eye, I'll do it real quick the middle of your eye when you're looking straight for your arch and the outside of your eye. And what I do is I just make a mark with my um, angle brush. And now we're just doing our eyebrows and making sure it's a contour that works with the face the best. So what we're gonna do is we're going to apply product on the outside and then kind of whatever is left, we're gonna go through the inside and we're gonna make little hair strokes because we want it to look um, more natural, like hair. So I know that that looks like obviously that is makeup and that is how it starts for sure. Eyebrows take it can take a long time if you have a lot to fill in. So as you can see, I don't have any hair right there. And so for me, I just have to fill it in and I don't have a mirror, I'm using my phone. I wonder if I should use a mirror, that'll have my help. <laughs> Let's see. So for the top of your brows, another thing I always want people to know is that you want it to be a straight line on the top. It doesn't mean it has to be perfectly straight line right here. In fact, if you go like, you know, a straight line, you could look like your eyebrows are dipping in more than they are. What you want to do is make sure your eyebrows kind of curve out a bit to kind of stick with that lighter, brighter inner part of your face. So what I'm doing is I'm going to tap my cream. I got a little bit more and I'm tapping it on and then making sure we have a nice covered brow and that the top is not rounded. So see how straight that is? Um, I'll round this one so we can kind of see, but let's say I don't have this whole guide here and it's way down here. So what I'm going to do, what I don't want to do, so I'm showing you what not to do, is I'm going to make this nice and round here instead of straight. And we're going to round right here too. Don't do this. This is what not to do on this eyebrow. I'm going to have to fix it when I'm done. Um, it's actually really hard to what not to do on my eyebrows because I have I have waxed them into the right position <laughs> after so long. So if you start from down here at the corner and you round it out, it did not work. Either way, whatever you guys know what I'm saying. You don't want your eyebrows to be all round. Okay, so maybe now you can see the difference. I hope that that helps. So in this eyebrow here, I have not worked with the um, the angle of where that brow should be. So here they're straight. They go from the inside here to the arch. So you can, to get a great guide, you can start from where you put your first dot and you can draw a line straight up to your arch. And then you can kind of fill that in at an angle and make sure it's a nice straight line. On this side, what I've done is just kind of made up my own line and rounded my eyebrow and it looks silly. So here I look like, and here I look much more serious, but not angry, right? That doesn't look angry. So when you put two good brows together, it looks much better than this kind of rounded situation. So what I'm gonna do is take that back off. Hopefully, I'm just gonna See if I can clean that off. Now you can round the underside of your brow 
you don't necessarily need this part to be like a straight line. This part can definitely be rounded. That is definitely okay. In fact, I think that looks nice. You don't want your whole brow to be like geometric, perfect, you know, rectangle from here to here and anyways. So on this side, starting over, I'm gonna go from the inside and make a nice straight line here and do little brush, like little hair strokes and then up. And then what I'm gonna do just follow this to my arch where I originally I had a mark right there and I followed my eye and I put looking straight ahead and I put a dot so I would follow that line straight to that dot and now I'm just gonna make a nice straight line here on the top so once you get the hang of doing your brows it goes a lot faster um, and keep in mind this is just the cream this is my contour this is shadow and if you have lighter hair, you can use Astoria, you can use Ash. Some people can even use Olive, even though it's really warm. Redheads can use a lot warmer colors on their brows, which is awesome. Um, so then once you get the cream on there and you like where it is, um, one of the things that you can do, if you have another angled brush or you can just clean off the one that you have, um, to clean up your brows a little bit more, you can go back in with your highlight color, especially if you had to do what I just did and you wiped some of it off um, because you made a mistake, um, is you can use your highlight color and just re-blend um, right around the brows. And if you want to lighten them underneath, I guess, hey, excuse me, oh. um, underneath here, you can make a nice light line and that can really um, kind of bring out your brows so and then you'll just kind of blend that back in and that also will separate any eyeshadow that you've done that you want to look um, you know separated from your brow so let me just fix my other one also and then I will show you shadow part really need to wax this part so I have like one and like a couple hairs right here that are I'm going over with highlight color even though that won't really help them they really need to be taken off but blend that out make sure you don't have like other makeup colors on your fingers from when you did your eyeshadow or anything because that would be unfortunate and just blend that in there we go okay so see how much like lighter my brows underneath and around them are just from doing that okay so I clean that off and now to set my brows because I like where they are I like where they start I like the straight line on top the tail on the end um, unless your tail this tail is probably could be a little bit darker so you, again, you want the outside of your brows to be darker than the inside. So I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow color. Now you will have to experiment and figure out the right one. I personally use this, this is Bird. So see how it, it looks too light almost, but really it's just setting that color on top. Um, it's just, it's setting the contour color that's underneath. And so I don't need it to be super dark. I wanna make sure it's neutral and not too warm. And I'm just dabbing that shadow color on, especially in the front where I don't have any hair. So let's see if I can get closer if you can see. Ooh. Ooh. Just gonna, I feel like it's not gonna give a great picture because the photo quality on Facebook Live is just not that great. But I'm using my shadow and I'm just going back over where I put that contour. Now this part is super quick and easy and you're just dipping your angled brush into your shadow and just going back over where that contour is. And you can feel when you put that on how much, um, like, I don't know, it's stiff, it's stickier. It's um, when you put that shadow on there, you can just really tell. Now, always to keep in mind that once you put shadow, 
once you put a powder on top of a cream, you can't go back and change your cream. You can't put cream on top of a shadow um, without it looking very uh, textured and bumpy, and we don't really want that. So again, I'm just using my shadow to... It's so funny. So the contour color I use is called shadow, but it's not an eyeshadow, it's a contour. And the shadow color, the eyeshadow color that I use on my brows is called bird. So um, you can try those two colors if you think that you have similar um, hair color to me and you want it to kind of mesh. I know some, even some blondes really like to have dark eyebrows, so you just have to decide what works for you. Um, if you need help figuring out what color, just let me know and I will help you. Um, if you mess something up or if you think you're too far in, what I like to do is just use this end of my angled brush and I can go like this and really just um, lighten it up. So let's say that um, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, my eyebrows look way too dark. I can take this side of my brush and I'll just kind of go like this. And what that does is it's going to pull a little bit of that product off and it's going to lighten it up. Okay. So I feel like they look pretty good. What do you guys think? Did that help you at all? Will that help you with your eyebrow game? It goes faster once you get used to it. The hardest part in the beginning is really just getting the right um, um, lines, but making those dots each time will help you and just kind of drawing that straight line to um, connect and then fill in and you can do tiny, tiny dots, tiny bits at a time just to make it easy. So um, just to recap, now that they're all done, eyebrows are contouring for your, are contouring part of your face. So all of your makeup is a contour, even your eyebrows. So your eyebrows need to be darker out here than they are in here. You never, I mean, even if they're the same, they could be the same color from outside to inside, but you wanna make sure the majority of your product is out here and not in here. If this part is darker than out here, it's gonna look very odd. So just make sure you're either even all the way across or the opposite. Um, don't bring your eyebrows in too close. But I, what I said earlier is that I see a lot of times when people get their eyebrows done, they will, not when we do them ourselves, I think we kind of figure it out when we do them ourselves, but a lot of um, microblade, because I've, I've looked it up, I've thought about getting my eyebrows microbladed, but I just can't trust somebody else to put them where I want them, um, is I see them come all the way to in here. So in here as in where your, you know, the shadow of your nose goes up. And we don't want our brows to look angry. We want to look bright and happy and not like clown happy, rounded eyebrow happy. But we want our brows to be at the corner of our eyes and not in where our nose is. Um, so make those lines. Put your guide on there. Have it darker on the outside instead of the inside. Um, and your eyebrows can be any color you want. They can be black, they can be brown, they can be blonde. It doesn't matter what color your hair is, it just has to be what you're comfortable with. Um, if you have to clean them up, just use your highlight color. I hope that all these things have helped you. Um, if you have any questions, now's a great time to ask me um, because I can't always think of everything. I've, been, I've used to do my eyebrows so long, sometimes I forget um, basic stuff that people are not sure about. Um, Yeah, I'll wait just a minute and see if anybody hops on and ends up with questions. But otherwise, we are done. You guys can go practice doing your eyebrows um, if you want to. If you don't want to and you hate doing your brows, that's fine too. There are no rules in makeup. I just am trying to give tools to do it. If you don't like them, don't use them. Do what you want to do. So, all right, I guess I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that your eyebrow game is um, so much easier after this. If you have other questions, leave me leave a comment below. If you're watching this right now, it is, um, and there's no red live up here, then it's not live. So go ahead and put replay in the comments below. If you just want questions about the makeup in general. Hey, Heather, uh, so glad you're here. Oh my gosh, thanks for watching. Um, if you have questions about the makeup in general, you can just leave like hashtag makeup and I'll message you privately. Um, 
if you know anybody that might want to know about eyebrows, makeup, um, if they're looking to start their own business, if they already love makeup, add them to the group. Add them to my makeup group, send them my page, send them this video, whatever you want to do. I'd love to meet them. Um, and that's about it. I hope, hope you guys have a great day. We're going to a Halloween party tonight. I'm going to be a little lady. I am. Maybe I'll post a picture of it later. Bye.